Hello. Star Pod in here with Ringo the cat. Looking at me like I'm dumb and talking to myself. Looks like Looks like I need to send guys on missions. There we go. No, don't start with me, cat. Uh I'm grouped up with Kirihi. And where are they? Zedek. Uh Komodo and Komodo. Come on, cat! <sighs> okay. So what we are trying to do... Okay, looks like Kiri, he's gonna take east. We are trying to... Shoot, I think there's too many of them here. They sent all seven people here. No, guys, 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 guys. I'm not tanky enough yet. I'm about one match away from another piece. But I am six pieces away. Five armor. Five armor pieces in my weapon. Shoot, 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 shoot. Wow, that's stupid. It's showing them invisible. Ha! Okay, and my electro dart's not going off. That's the latency bullcrap that I'm always talking about. I don't know how many times I hit my um, electro dart and I didn't even cast. Person was teleporting around my screen, attacked me for a good five, six seconds while they were invisible. Just spamming their move as fast as they could. Oh, hey, it's Lunaria. So we're never going to be killing these people, in other words. E so they have two healers, okay. Uh, we were trying um, to actually start to form our group. Where, where we start uh, working as a unit, so I can show you guys how that works. So one of the things you can do if you know you're gonna die is try to tag the healers. Gets, it gets so damn laggy. Okay, who do I have? Hey, Kiri. Now, I know they have one here. They're there. Nope, they have two. Three. I slowed down my healing to put points in other stuff. Maybe that wasn't 
the best idea. I had a had a bad feeling that I was gonna actually use some of that heal um some of that speed. Maybe if we hold them here long enough, somebody can go grab West. As soon as I can get my finances sorted out, I'm gonna finish building up this computer so I have a better frame rate. Crap, we really didn't have anybody guarding east. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm not really super talkative when I'm actually trying to get people down. But what we were trying to do. And what we'll continue to try to do is actually build a group. So we need to grab south really quick. The resers need to grab south. Come here, bonds. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're moving around in a giant death ball, and um, they have two really, really, really strong healers, and they're probably, at least most of them are playing on their mains. We already have two people hitting west again. So, something you can do when you're actually playing with a team that has a good chance of winning is you can call out their troop movements. Um, actually, I haven't done it in a long time because I haven't actually been playing with teams that are cognizant enough to use the information. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get west. Actually, they're still fighting for it. It's a really big gamble, but what some people do, and it's what they did, is actually just leave east completely undefended. But, um, you can't, I mean, just if anyone figures it out, they three cap and you almost instantly lose. But we are trying to put a group together. I'm thinking it might not be the best idea to use Samus yet for our group trying to show the group stuff, but I was thinking that. Um, Extremis will get absolutely demolished, even though he's geared up now. Um, I, I don't know. I'm still... I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know... Yeah. 
See, those two have been fighting at west for quite a while, but they have, uh, yeah, five heading west. Where is that five? Looks like about five. Just running around in their friggin' train. So they must have been just about to lose west. So now if all the... Actually, no, there's, there's three still there, but they're going to get stomped. If they could send the resers to south, but they would need, like, at least... Three. To be able to take it by the time the train... Rolls back down. Um, but what we need, and what I was talking to the guys about, is we need a way to break these... Deadlocks. I need a way to break these deadlocks, and that's what we were trying to do. The, the problem... Uh, I keep saying the problem is... The problem is we're just not... Or at least I'm not geared yet. I don't actually know. I haven't checked the other guy's gear, because I just assumed that we're all going to be gearing our characters together. Um, wow, they... Okay. They actually got... Or at least are just about... Okay. Huh. Okay. Two headed south. Uh, never mind. Five headed south. They just keep running in that in that frickin' train. One headed east. And the reason why they're doing that is they're they are trying to kind of shake us loose. They're trying to get us out of position. Who is that, by the way? It's bronze again. But I'm not going to try to fight him down there. They're trying to pull us out of position. Zedek keeps saying, focusing healer, focus healers. And I know why he wants to do that. The problem is, is they have two. And it's very, very, very hard. Very hard. To kill a group with two healers. Um... You have to basically pull their damage dealers out of position, or you have to get snipers or, or well, assassins on each of their healers at the same time. So this is a prime example where... I call these two percent matches, but this is a four percent match. I'll, I'll, once you have a bunker in in uh, Nover, it is extremely difficult to get it back because of the way uh, the way the meta game is designed. It's very hard to get it back. You have to have a very very superior force. To get a bunker back, and I like that. That's that that's good, but it's there's a problem with it too, which is stuff like this. So you have to basically train. To, uh, Zedek's watching it. Really good. You have to train everybody to be able to very, very, very just surgically, strategically, cleanly win the battle. And and I always say that causing damage, it's essentially damage versus healing at, at the most basic. And I was like, no, it's this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Yeah, all those things funnel up into damage. Crap. They're really funneling a lot of people. I know they're looking at us, because I keep seeing them pop up their heads over there. Now, we have played uh, 
a mirror of this exact scenario before and they and that's what Zedek's talking about they're gonna come there soon they will they will come here soon we just have to make sure that they don't overcommit their forces when they come to save us so either they have to send oh shit one he no never either they have to send like three people here and three people they have to somehow either counter push really 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 fast as what oh wait I think he was here watching me back earlier Um, just gotta make sure they don't overcommit. They have to either shit. Where is he? Just gotta make sure they don't snipe her really quick. So what you always want to do, and I've talked about this before, you always want to keep somebody just slowly squ Oh, shit, guys. You got to keep somebody just kind of slowly working this back so they can't get it that easily. Because this is only about three or four seconds away. Shit. R Ringo. Honestly, I don't think we're going to make it in time. Yep. I've actually done it before where we've capped, you, you still lose, but... Um, yeah, they, they just weren't able to keep them off the node. Probably about... Maybe 12 more seconds, and I think we would have had it. That's okay. So, as you can see, uh, I've been seeing this a lot lately, where they just are t just tons and tons of hybrid healers, and this makes them almost unkillable. And they had all those hybrid healers, and they had all the top damage. I mean, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. That's like maybe 1.8 million, 1.7 million damage. Anyway, wow. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.